So then gang, the next step is to make the animation for the pulsating effect whenever we click on this heart right here. So I want to grow and shrink it all in one go whenever we click on it. And we'll be using the size property to do that. So to begin with, it's going to be 30 pixels. Then it's going to grow to 50 when we click on it and then back to 30 again, all in one go. So this is no longer a linear progression from one value to the next. It's from point A to begin with then to B, then back to A again, all in one go every time we click it. So it's going to grow and shrink all within that duration of what is currently, I think, 500 milliseconds. OK, so a normal tween won't work because they just have a single begin and a single end value. And this time we have three values to tween between. We have 30 pixels to 50 pixels, then back to 30 pixels. So to achieve this, we'll be using a tween sequence. So a tween sequence does pretty much what it says it does on the tin. It sequences through different tweens. So we could have a sequence of three or four tweens lined up next to each other. And then when we run the animation, it's going to go from one tween to the next, to the next, to the next. So we can start to make more complex animations. In our case, we're going to have a sequence of two tweens. The first one is going to be to grow the heart. So from 30 to 50 pixels. And then the second tween in the sequence is going to be to shrink it from 50 pixels to 30 pixels again. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new variable up here, and that is also going to be an animation object, but this time to control the size a bit like this. So this right here was for color. And in fact, you should probably say that it's a color animation right here. And also we're going to do another one now. So animation this time, it's going to be to control a double because we're going to be using a double for this thing right here, the size. OK, so we'll call this size animation. All right, so now let's create that tween sequence. All right, so down here underneath where we create the color animation, let's also do one this time for the size animation. And um, we're going to set that equal to a tween sequence this time. Now inside a tween sequence, we need a list of tween sequence items. So let me go down to the next line and I'm going to say that this list will be of type tween sequence item and then also that is going to be of type double each of those tweens because they're going to return a double to tween between which is going to control the size okay so we're kind of double typing here we have a list right here which is of type tween sequence item so each one of these things is going to be its own tween sequence item and then each of those is going to tween a double i hope that makes sense OK, so we need two tween sequence items inside this. So let me first of all say tween sequence item. And then this is going to be type double and we'll create that. So this takes two properties. First of all, a tween, which will dictate where the tween begins and ends. And the second property will be the weight, which is basically how important this particular tween item is. What is the weight of it? So Let's do the tween first of all. So we'll say tween double and then we want this to begin. If we can spell this correctly at 30. So that's the initial size and then end at 50. Now we also need, like I said, the weight. So let's do that and we'll just split this up. So the weight of this is going to be 50 and the other one is going to be 50. So they're equally weighted and the animation spends just the same amount of time on this one as it will the next one. OK, so that's our first tween sequence item. Now we need another one which is going to start at 50 and go back to 30. So let me grab this and paste it down here. And this time it's going to begin at 50 and end at 30. And that, my friends, is all there is to it. Pretty simple, right? Now, I know there's a lot of types here, but all we're essentially doing is saying that we have a list of this type right here. And inside that list, we have individual tween sequence items, which are going to give us doubles. Because remember, we're using doubles here to interpolate between two values. All right, so... Now we have that tween sequence item. We're still getting an error. And that's remember because this is not an animation. We need to let this be an animation. So to do that, we call the animate method just as we did up here on the color animation. So let me copy that and let's paste it at the bottom down here. 
and now this is an animation and we're just telling our controller to control this animation now. So it's going to take 500 milliseconds to go through this tween sequence. Make sense? Okay, so now we can use this value, the size animation value down here for the size. So let's do that. Underscore size animation dot value like so. And if I save this now, I'm going to restart the process. And it looks like we have a little error there, but I think if we restart, this should work. Press over here. And if we click on this, notice it grow and then shrink. And if we click again, grow and shrink grow and shrink. Now I think that is a little bit too long of a duration, 500 milliseconds. So I'm going to knock this back down to 300 and save that. And let's try this again. In fact, I think we'll need to restart because we've changed up here the state. So let me do that and click on one of these again. Click this and that looks a little nicer. Okay, you could take this down to 200 if you wish. Entirely up to you. So then my friends, a tween sequence can be used and the good when we want to combine tweens together one after another as we have done here. Next up, we're going to look at curves.